In this video, I'll show you how to create a fully custom t-shirt printing website using WordPress. You can customize the experience however you want. Let's say if you want a customer to upload their own image or type in a name for engraving, you can do all of that using a plugin called Product Options. Now I know it's a paid plugin, but they offer a lifetime deal, which is honestly cheaper in the long run than giving up your profits to Printify forever. For example, a t-shirt costs you $10 from Printify and shipping adds another $4. That's $14 in total. Now, let's say you want to make a 40% profit margin, which is the industry standard. Then you need to factor in your marketing discounts and payment fees, and you need to sell this t-shirt for around $24. And that's assuming people are okay with paying $24 for a basic t-shirt, which they often earn. That's why using WordPress is the smarter way as it lets you sell this exact t-shirt for 20 to 50 percent cheaper. So I'll walk you through exactly how to set it up step by step so you can follow along. First, we need to install the plugin. Just head to the link in the description. It'll take you to this Barn2 website. Scroll down and select the bundle option. You can choose any plan you like, but make sure it includes the live preview feature as we'll be using that later. Once you've made the purchase, go back to your WordPress dashboard, upload the plugin files and activate them using your license key. At this point, I already have a basic store set up using the Astra theme and a few sample products. Make sure you've got something similar in place before moving on. Also, I highly recommend taking a quick backup of your site before making any changes. You can do that simply by just going to the link in the description, go to Blog Vault, add your website, and it will automatically create a backup. So you can experiment freely without the risk of breaking anything. Once all of that is ready and with the plugin installed, it's time to create our first set of product options. Start by clicking the Create Product Options button inside the plugin dashboard. Click Add Group to create a new set of product options. You'll be asked to name the group and decide where it should appear, either on all of the products or specific ones. For this walkthrough, we'll apply it to a single product. Once your group is created, you can begin adding options. The plugin offers a huge variety from checkboxes to dropdowns to color swatches image selection and file uploads. Let's start by adding a file upload field. Give it a name and then choose how you want to charge for it. Either a flat fee or a percentage based add-on. Enable live preview. There's even a built-in calculator that adjusts pricing automatically based on the base product cost. Under advanced settings, you can control things like the maximum file size to avoid putting a lot of load on your server. You can also restrict the file types. For example, only allow JPGs and PNGs and block larger file formats like PSDs. Once done, click Save. Next, let's add a text input field. Again, give it a label, turn on Live Preview, and configure any extra settings you need. Click Save when you're ready. Now, go ahead and refresh your product page. You should see the new fields right on the product, allowing customers to upload an image or type in text before adding to cart. To make this experience even more interactive, We'll use the live preview feature to show the customers how their customizations will actually look on the product. Start by going into the media library and selecting the product image you want to use as the preview base. Scroll down and you'll find an option that says set printable areas. Click on it to open the editor. Here you can define the part of the image that will show the uploaded file or custom text. There are three shape options, square, circle or rectangle. Pick one that best fits your product and drag it into place. Resize and position it exactly where you want the customization to appear. Next, configure the settings for that area. You can choose whether users want to upload multiple images, if the images should be locked in place or whether it can be moved or resized after upload. Then link this area to the correct field. In this case, the file upload option we've set up earlier. Click apply to save. And if you want to add more customization zones, just repeat the process and create a new area. This time link into the text input option we've added earlier. Once everything's linked and saved, refresh your product page again. You'll now see that the uploaded image and the custom text both appear live on the product mockup, giving customers a clear visual of what they're about to order. You'll also need a way to handle orders, whether you're printing and shipping products yourself or working with a company in the background. Just make sure the process is set up before you start taking orders. And with that done, your t-shirt printing website is live. And if you want to learn how you can speed it up by 3x, then watch this video.